Welcome. So in this module, we're going to talk about what is the objective of security engineering? What are we actually trying to achieve? So the objective of security engineering is some of the, some of the following. Let's just take some examples. Security architecture as per best practices. So architecture is all about design. And if we place the right controls at the right time, at the right location, on the right devices, based on the criticality of the function that we are performing, um, that is really the relevance of security engineering. Now let's, take, let's go ahead and talk about some, some detail. Security architecture as per best practices. Security architecture is the, is the topology, is the design, and the design is extremely important and fundamental. If we apply security controls in the wrong design, if we don't have the right architecture, our efforts will not bear fruit. The right security devices in the right places. So, um, the, for example, we'll talk about this. The firewall needs to be placed at the perimeter of the network. And a firewall also needs to be placed at the, at the mouth of the data center like we have discussed. If we place a firewall in the wrong location, or if we place another particular device in the wrong location, um, the controls will not be effective. Effective security configuration of security devices, which is about features. Whenever we have security tools or security devices, we need to ensure that their configuration is correct uh, the, we are fully utilizing the capabilities of the device, and then we should also be able to test the configuration. Optimum operation of security devices. The security devices should be working up to their full potential and up to the specifications. For example, if you choke a router uh, with too much CPU or a, or a switch, then it will not be able to perform its function. And then uh, security engineering, as we mentioned, is all about, and this is a very important point, it's all about the aggregate controls. Because we already talked about the individual, we will, we will talk about uh, the individual controls in security hardening. And, and, when, and when we took a look at security hardening, which is the first layer of security transformation model, we take each device or we take each IT asset individually, Windows Server 2012 R2, a browser, it could be a database, it could be an application. We look at it at an individual level. Now in security engineering, we're looking at the entire architecture and we have to look at the design, the placement, um, the, the particular controls, the traffic flow, uh, and all of those aspects. So let's go ahead and look at a little bit more detail. Now, this is really the importance in the form of a pyramid. The most important aspect of security engineering is the architecture, the topology of the network. And when we talk about architecture, we're talking about the placement of devices, the placement of, uh, or the topology, the network design, the traffic flow. And then next most important aspect are the features and the configuration. If the devices are installed in the right architecture, but we are not utilizing the features and configuration, or if that is not optimum, then we're not utilizing the uh, security as per the international best practices. And then it's the operation, the operational SOPs to be conducted. For example, if there is a server, you need to make sure that you, you take a backup as per your backup policy on a full backup basis and then on an incremental basis, for example. Let's take some examples. The firewall first and then the IPS. Now we're talking about the perimeter. Now this is a best practice, uh, an internationally recognized best practice. Um, in, in previously, the router used to be the device which was installed at the network edge. Now what has happened is that the network and the firewall have collapsed into one device, and usually now uh, when there is a new purchase, um, the firewall is the only perimeter device, and it has routing capabilities obviously built in into it. So uh, the firewall would be the first perimeter or the, would, be, would be the edge device, and behind the firewall, as we go into the network, into the customer network, we would have the intrusion prevention system. So there is some filtering performed by the firewall, and then we actually examine the traffic with the help of the intrusion prevention system to block malware um, at, inside, inside the IPS. And now, uh, in the next generation devices, 
the IPS is also a function built in into the firewall. Then we have edge firewall and data center firewall like we talked about. There should be malware protection at the network edge at the network level. And this is uh, a very important feature because all the vectors have to be protected against malware and the traffic which is flowing in um, at, uh, into, the, into the perimeter devices, it has to be, uh, we need to ensure that the next generation firewall has malware protection enabled, antivirus, anti-malware uh, enabled. And then we have VPN termination on remote access VPN device. Now the firewall needs to be, uh, needs to, be needs to terminate the VPNs which are uh, going to be used, for example, by traveling uh, staff or uh, also the VPN access may be given to um, the outsourced uh, vendors who need to, for example, manage certain servers or certain operations of IT. And then we need to have VPN tunnels for extranet connectivity. So whenever you have an intranet um, or an extranet and you are connecting remote locations, um, we need to make sure that they have VPN, IPsec VPN tunnels. This is the overall architecture of a typical enterprise network, as we mentioned. And as you can see, there is a router, a next generation firewall. The next generation firewall has DMZ connected to it. Then we have the IPS. And after that, there would be a, a network DLP device or a server, which would be installed here because we're trying to detect the data loss prevention, which is happening through the network. And then you can see that on the left side of the screen, for example, we have a UTM, which is connecting, going to connect to a regional office. And here we need to make sure that there is a VPN, IPsec VPN tunnel, which is established between the regional office and this main branch, this main primary site of the enterprise. And you can also see at the data center on the lower left, on the lower right of the screen, there's a data center switch and it also has a firewall. So what is the objective of security engineering? The right time for setting up security engineering is when a new network is being designed and implemented because if we set up the wrong architecture, the wrong design, it becomes very challenging to fix that. And fixing a poorly architected operational network is a very difficult task. It's like changing the wheel of a car which is already running. So I'd like to just quickly recap here that security engineering, as we've mentioned, it's talking about aggregate controls. It's talking about aggregate controls. And one example of this is that uh, in CIS top 20 critical controls, one example is that all of the IT administrators should access, uh, when they have to do privileged access to network devices or systems or servers, they should do that through an independent machine which does not use email and, my, and word processing and internet on that machine, on that server. They should use an independent machine which is used only for the privileged access management. And this should be also on a separate VLAN which, is, which does not carry any, any other traffic. So the management VLAN for device uh, operations or management should be separate. So these are best practices which are highly recommended by CIS, top 20 critical controls, and they, really, and they deal with the entire um, architecture or the entire network as an aggregate or all the IT administrators from the network division, the system division, the database division, the application division, all of them together. And that could lead to a policy in the network, for example. So that's all that we have for this module. Thank you.